Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sani of LS Web Apps and welcome back to the fifth part of this tutorial series which is PHP file upload system. And if you remember from the last tutorial video, we actually implemented the listing of uploaded files in the home page. But um, in this tutorial video, we're going to be having a look at how to allow uploading of different types of images apart from just PNGs. Because the last um, few videos that we did only allowed uploading of PNG file so this time we're going to add more extension so you can upload different image types So let's just try uploading a JPEG right now and just see if the error will get So if you notice last time we uploaded this sublime text file here this time we're going to try to upload a Little thumbnail of myself, which is a JPEG file and see what happens So upon selecting the file we click on upload and uh, PHP upload script tells us story file type is not allowed That's because of the code up in here um, in now upload a PHP file it just checks to see if the type is an image slash PNG so let's try to fix that okay, let's go back here and start typing in our text editor so first thing that we need to do is actually create another variable which has which is an array consisting of the different types of images we're going to be accepting so we will call it allowed image types and it's going to be an array and image types comes in the form of say image slash png this is how the, the format is and since we allow pngs next we're going to allow jpegs so we're going to say image forward slash jpeg next we're going to allow gifs so you can add as many image types as you want but i noticed that these are most three popular on the web and so we're going to stick with that for the purpose of this tutorial and next we're going to create another function which just does the checking so function image type allowed and what this function takes is the image type we're going to pass it in as a parameter we're going to say image type and this function will do a check to say if the passed in image type is actually inside this array up here that we have created previously so we're going to use a php function called in array so if in array if the um the passed in image type exists inside the array which is allowed image types we are going to return true seems like we have a little syntax error there so let me just check briefly what that is so allowed image types let's just copy this paste it here and the error didn't seem to go it says undefined variable uh, allowed image types oh okay so that's because we um did not make that image allowed image type global so we're going to say global image types because in in PHP normally when you're inside a function any um, any variable that's been created outside the function doesn't normally exist and probably this might change in newer versions of PHP but as of PHP I think 5.3 or 4 this is how stuff works so just say global and allow image types or there's a new syntax that you can actually use here which is um, I think the use statement I'm not quite sure how what the, um, the syntax is but we'll stick to this simpler syntax for the purpose of this tutorial okay so if it is not inside that array we're going to return false so that's it our function so one thing we need to um, just change right now is just this type checking here right now we're just checking for one type of image file but instead of checking for that one type, we're going to call our function and actually pass in the variable type. So we're going to say, if not image type allowed, passing in type, current type of the uploaded file. If that is not allowed, we're going to say, sorry, file type is not allowed. Okay. So now let's go back in our browser and actually test this script to see if it works. So I'll just go ahead and just reselect this JPEG file here. When I upload, it says file successfully uploaded. So let's go back in our home page and see if that file will be listed there. 
So in our home page, this JPEG file is listed here. So let's go back and actually put a line break where it lists the file. So they are all listed on their separate lines. So in index.php, let's just say, uh, put a br tag here in the string and we should be good to go. When I refresh now, everything is in order. So let's click on the JPEG file. As you can see, that's a picture of me. Showing off the long hair here. <laughs> Quite short, but it's all fine. Right, and as usual, when we select the PNG, everything works okay. So that's it guys for this tutorial video. And um, I hope it was really useful. And I'll see you in the next tutorial video where we're going to be adding a bit of security to our code to make sure that it's more secure than it actually is. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.